hello there, it's Sound Author again, and today we're looking at a reactor ensemble, more specifically an FDN-style reverb that I made in reactor called Pristine. And um, I know that reactor is kind of an old program, and some people feel that they have moved on to bigger and better things, but I still think reactor is very cool, and um, I still like making stuff for it. Um, so, what makes this uh, a little bit different than uh, my usual reverbs uh, is that, uh, like I said, it's an FDN-style reverb, which stands for Feedback Delay Network. And uh, what that means is that there is uh, something called uh, a feedback matrix inside of it, uh, more specifically a Hadamard matrix. And uh, it's basically a bunch of parallel delays that are kind of cross-pollinating each other in a wonderful way. And it creates a sort of a reverb tail that, that uh, has a very lossless quality. Uh, of course, that's the whole point of using a Hadamard matrix is, is that it creates... Uh, lossless feedback at unity gain and uh, it just it has a very beautiful sound and frozen reverb signals are frozen okay in this reverb which uh, this is ideal for creating pad instruments uh, and atmosphere sounds. So it's great for sampling. So let's just go into the project file that I'm hiding. It's still playing and I should stop that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot here, especially in the structure. Uh, I'm not going to really dive too deep into the structure, but uh, to give you a visual idea of what happens inside of a Hadamard matrix is basically this, um, which uh, it is uh, my summary of uh, a Hadamard matrix for the purpose of... Uh, a reverb uh, is basically a bunch of parallel mid-side encoders that are acting on each other's sums and differences. Um, so, yeah, you end up with uh, something that is very stable. And uh, FDN reverbs kind of have this quality that uh, the reverb tail kind of ends up sounding so much like the source material that sometimes it's almost indiscernible as a reverb and it almost sounds like you've used like a sustainer or something. Um, but uh, it's not just good at big ambient things. I mean, of course, you know, without the... Just take that synth part out. The synth part has some delay going on, but uh, you can obviously hear. Okay, to give you some idea of uh, the big ambient thing that you can do, but you can also get some modest spaces out of it too. It doesn't just do big humongo spaces. Okay. Uh, but come on, let's face it. We're really here for stupidly Forever. And 
and once that signal is frozen, it is frozen, my friend. Okay. And there's a convenient kill switch that will let us just kill the feedback. And I didn't make this to be really flexible. I think there's like a half a dozen presets. There doesn't need to be a lot of presets. Um, I just kind of made this for myself. I made this to be a go-to. And um, yeah, it's it's pretty simple. It's like 15 uh, controls. And I just wanted it to kind of feel like a guitar pedal. Something just simple, you know, load it in there, get it going and get something happening. But it also lends itself uh, nicely to horrorscapes, which this one So for horror sc scoring, this would be really good for getting these just creepy Okay, and on panel B is where you can see the modulation. Now, I've created a pretty interesting modulation system uh, for this reverb, which is kind of in a daisy chain of recurrent frequency modulation. Uh, and you can't really see it when it's slow like that. But when it's fast, you can see that they're all kind of like Perlin noise. They all have this random fluctuating kind of behavior. But I wanted to give it a lot of modulation range. So I think I, I think it at max modulation range is something like 20 milliseconds, which is a lot of modulation for a reverb. So somewhere around there. So this would also be useful for uh, creating those n kind of atmospheric sounds like uh, the the soft hum of like a starship. You know, if you wanted to do that kind of sound design, uh, this would be a perfect thing to sample. Um, so let's just go back to the more musical thing and turn off the dry since... That's more or less the sound that I would usually use this for. Often Harold Harold Bud territory. pristine and it is available for the latest version of reactor i hope you like it